guys welcome back to a new video this is going to be a pretty much a moveset guide for Moltres, galarian Moltres, articuno and zapdos i'm going to be covering them all in one video instead of making separate videos for each of them so if you guys want some movesets and some stuff to hop onto the ou ladder the crown tundra just dropped legit today if you guys are seeing this i don't know when this video will be going up either over the weekend or this next week but I'm pre-recording all these team builders, or not these team builders, these moveset guides. Like legit, the, the Crown Tundra legit dropped about two hours ago. So I'm pre-recording all these so I can edit them, get thumbnails made, everything, and then upload them at, over the next week or so. So if you guys are already seeing other people do team builders or moveset guides or whatever, they're more than likely, I don't know, Either they have the same idea or they're more than likely stealing my video concepts again. So, uh, the Galarian, we're going to be going with Galarian, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. All of them have different typings and a little bit of a different move pool than their regular counterparts. Uh, we're going to get right into this. If, if there's some move sets I do not cover in this video as well, feel free to put them down in the comment section for everybody um, as well if I do not cover them in this video. I'm going to try and make this video as thorough but yet quick as possible. If you guys want me to continue doing these, leave a like if you're new. This is your first time finding my channel. Leave a subscription. That really helps me out. Galarian Moltres. Uh, normally, it's fire flying. We got a dark flying type, similar to things like Haunch Crow and uh, stuff like that. Uh, base stats, 125 special defense, 100 special attack, 85 attack, which ain't too bad. And decent bulk all around with 85 or with 90 defense, 125 spadef, and a solid base 90 speed. I do think Galarian Maltrez is going to move down to UU, and I think it'll end up being a high-tier UU pick or uh, Pokemon. So, ability, Berserk, it's similar to Drampa. You go below um, half on your health, and then you get a plus one special attack boost. So, same thing as Drampa has. Um, so, you're going to be running this thing as a special attacker the majority of the time. This here is pretty much the... Mainly the set you're going to be seeing is like a, a similar set to this. Max speed, max special attack, very straightforward. It gets nasty plot. That's its main way of setting up. Um, you're going to be running this thing special. It also has its, its signature move called Fury Wrath. It's a base 90 special attack move that has a 20% chance to flinch. So you could also run like a, a King's Rock on here if you're feeling like a, a badass and an absolute piece of shit. You can legit run a, a King's Rock and just go for flinches. This set's going to have heavy-duty boots. You can run heavy-duty boots, leftovers, whatever you really want here as your item. Mainly going to be running the heavy-duty boots. Uh, Air Slash. It, you could also go with the uh, Hurricane. If you're like me, I don't want to miss. Um, even at plus two, her, Air Slash is going to be doing a lot with, with the uh, Nasty Pot. And apart from that, you really don't have too much coverage. You really do not get much coverage apart from your stab moves. Um... Ancient Power, and the Shadow Ball is like legit, legit the only stuff you really get for coverage that's at least going to be useful to you outside of your main types of sap and maybe Hex, but you have no way to status, so it doesn't do anything. And I guess maybe Dark Balls if you want to go for that 20% flinch. It doesn't really make sense when you have a, a 10 base power more move that does the same thing. I don't know why you would ever run Dark Balls, but... Just so you guys know. But here's going to be your main set. Pretty much you're going to be seeing a lot of your, uh, versus a lot of people or on a lot of teams. Uh, you get below half, you're going to get that plus one boost. So that base 100 turns into like a base 150 with that plus one. Unfortunately, it does not get Roost for some reason. I don't know why they took away Roost from Moltres when its counterpart has it. Uh, here's going to be another set. You can pretty much run this. This is more of a physical set. I just wanted to throw a physical set. I think it's still, vi still viable uh, into this video. Um, granted, your ability is kind of useless just because you don't get that boost, but you could also change this into a special set. Just take the first set and run a choice scarf, and then you take away the uh, nasty plot and just throw like a coverage move there, like Ace your Power. That's all you really need to do to switch the set off. You want to run like a special variant of this, but as for a physical variant, Lash Out and Sucker Punch are going to be your main two types. Dark Stab for your physical side, and then the 120 base power Brave Bird is going to be hitting really hard. You also can run a a choice band here if you want as well, just so you can get hit a lot harder. Base 85 still ain't that bad of attack, especially when you're when dark flying is a really good offensive typing. So 
that's all I really got. Apart from that, not really too much. You're going to really be doing with Galarian Moltres. Uh, you can maybe run it on like a rain type team just because it gets Hurricane and a lot of other stuff. Memento is kind of cool. It's Taunt. It's a decently fast Taunt user. Apart from that, it really doesn't have that much, guys. Unfortunately, it gets foul play. So if you want to run like a bulkier variant, I don't know. It gets no status, nothing, nothing to really use. So unfortunate and no reliable recovery. Articuno, Galarian Articuno, uh, Psychic Flying Types, and other things like Sigalith and stuff like that. So, and uh, Oricorio. Competitive. So if you're going to be running this, pretty much anything, you can't bring this thing in on like a Defogger. Defogger, if you Defog versus this thing, you'll get the plus two uh, special attack raise. So if you're going to be Sending out an Intimidator versus this thing, you're going to give it an automatic plus two. Any type of stat lowering, that includes defense, any type of slat, you're going to be getting this a plus two boost. So, a really good ability. Um, decent move pool, and the only bird out of the new Galarian variants that gets recovery, as you guys will see. There's a choice spec set with the Future Sight Freezing Glare, which is an exclusive move to Galarian Articuno. A 10% chance to flee, freeze in a base 90 power psychic type move. I threw the hurricane on here because it gets it a little bit less accurate than air slash. But if you're going to be running choice specs, you want the maximum amount of power. And then I just threw U-turn on here for a switch initiative. There's not really too much else coverage wise that you really can throw on. Maybe side shock if you really want to run on the defensive side or shadow ball. Apart from that, it does not really do too good coverage. Um, Gonna be your main type set. You can also switch out with this out with a choice scarf. As for base stats, 95 speed, really solid speed tier. At base 125 special attack is really good. And decent bulky type stats. 90 HP ain't bad. And 85 and 100 defenses ain't bad either. You're never gonna be using your attack anyways. That doesn't really matter. And the second set is gonna be a store power calm mind variant type set. With the air slash, you do get reliable recovery in recover. Probably the best recovery move in the game for anything that needs recovery. Um, and to gain back HP. It's more of a bulky set. Uh, you're going to be running that max HP, max special attack with the modest nature. Granted, you're not going to be out speeding as much stuff, but you're going to be able to take hits a lot better. Just look out for things like knockoff and stuff like that. You could also switch this out if you want for like a Cobra Berry if you're afraid of knockoff. Or the heavy duty boots, or pretty much whatever you really want there. If you want more recovery or hazard, or you're afraid of the hazards, or or like a lumberry if you're afraid of status or whatever. Um, pretty much bring this thing in on something that really can't touch you or do anything to you, like a wall. Throw up like two or three calm mines, and you just click stored power. And if they have a dark type, you just click air slash. This move's kind of optional. If you don't run air slash, then you get walled by pretty much. Dark types and pretty much a lot of your other stuff, steels, uh, a lot of other type of a lot of typings. So, I mean, you can, I guess you could take this away. You can throw something else on here. Maybe if you want to throw a reflect on here, just so you're a little bit more physically bulky when you're trying to set up um, stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe ancient power, whatever you really want to throw on here. Apart from that, move set wise, really don't get that much good coverage. Kind of the same thing as. Moltres. Um, you get Expanding Force, but I don't think it even affects you because you're a flying type. So I don't know why they gave you Expanding Force if you're not touching the ground. It doesn't proc the 1.5 times power. It'll go off, but it'll be the base power. So you're not touching the ground. You're a flying type. It, it won't work. Use your on psychic terrain. So you have to be touching the ground for it to get that 1.5 times proc and be double by almost double power. And you're not you're a flying type. You're not on the ground. So I don't know why they gave them expan expanding force. Kind of fucking stupid in my honest opinion. Uh, apart from that, it gets it gets dual screens, light screen and reflect. So you could run like a semi fast support with recover if you wanted. Tailwind's also great. It gets trick rooms, a, a, a decently fast trick room setup user. Um, apart from that, it really doesn't get any hypnosis. I guess even like hypnosis maybe you get all these. Cycle shift. You want to run like a Bruno or cycle shift type set. That also would be kind of cool. Um, similar things like uh, what Noctel and stuff does. But apart from that, not really too much else. Not going to talk about it anymore. And our last bird, Galarian Zapdos, probably the 
probably my favorite. I think Moltres is definitely my favorite. Probably my second favorite. Daughter of the Birds. Uh, fighting flying types, similar to Halucha. Um, probably a better version of Halucha, in my honest opinion. I think it's a lot better than Halucha. Defiance, similar to competitive, which is for your attack stat and not your special attack. So if you're going to bring in a de defog or try defogging or an intimidate user in on you, you get that plus two attack. Base 100 speed, really solid speed tier. It's your average speed tier. 125 attack and 90 HP and 90 defenses. Not too bad. Decently bulky mon and it hits very, very hard. Uh, gets close combat. This is going to be your typical set you're going to be seeing versus most teams. Or you're going to be running this set in most of your games on your teams. Choice band with the close combat, Brave Bird, probably the two of the most strongest stab moves in the game for the typing. You turn for that switch initiative, and then your last move is Stomping Tantrum because there's really no other coverage moves that'll do anything. Maybe Blaze Kick if you want to run things like Ferrothorn and like other steel types. But um, the majority of those are ready. You're going to be hitting with like your, your fighting type stab, anyways. So it really doesn't do anything for you. Apart from that, move pool, kind of a shallow move pool apart from stab. Like, honestly, it gets a special move called Thunderous Kick, which you're never really going to be using this over, like, close combat anyways. So it doesn't really matter. But it's kind of a cool type of move. Lowers the target's defense by one. Base 90 power, so. It also gets bounce. So if you want to run, like, a power or bounce set, I don't know. If that's even viable. Um... Hurricane, if you want to run a special variant, probably the worst special variant out of all the birds, but up to you. Um, second set's probably going to be your most probably seen set as well. It's probably going to be the set you've seen the, probably the second most. Leftovers or heavy duty boots, either one, whatever you want to run. Um, bulk up, thunderous kick, drill peck, and the substitute. Pretty much you bring this thing in, you, you set up a sub, they can't break your sub because you you're running more of a bulky type variant. You set up one or two bulk ups and then you try sweeping a team or at least getting trading at least two for one or something like that for your mon. Um, killing two things and then dying or something like that and then allowing your, the rest of your team to sweep the rest of the game. Thunderous Kick with the bulk up, you're going to be lowering their defense as well. So it'll take a lot less damage to kill whatever you're going against and the drill pick. Just it's way better than Brave Bird because you have no recovery and you're going to be using your substitute mainly just for uh, using your leftovers for the recovery for the substitute. So you're not really going to be wanting to use Brave Bird, otherwise you'll die a lot quicker. Um, same with close combat; you don't want to lower your defenses. Apart from that, not really too much else. You could maybe run Throw Chop or Stomping Tantrum on here for some reason. I don't know why you would, but it's up to you. Uh, apart from that, move pool wise, it gets li a light screen. I mean, it gets rest sleep talk. So if you want to run like a rest sleep talk variant, rest sleep talk, talk bulk up, and then maybe like a, a fourth move. Um, maybe you can do that as well. Throw chop ain't too bad. Like I said, it gets bounce, fly, endure. You can maybe like an endure type set with weakness policy might be cool. Quick guard. You can see that being a lot better in doubles. Apart from that, it really doesn't get that good of a move pool. I think out of all the birds, I think it gets like the worst move pool in my honest opinion. Agility, I guess, could be decent. I don't know. You have a decent speed tier the way it is. I don't think you really need an agility in my honest opinion. Um, acrobatics, I guess, could be decent, but you're just better off running Braver at that point and still having an item. So, I don't know. Endure counter could be kind of cool. I'm not 100% sure. It gets detect, protect, whatever. But uh, apart from that, if there's some sets I did not cover in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll be doing these for the Regigigas and all the uh, the new Regis and uh, all the new legendary mons we will be getting or we've already gotten. So if you guys are staying tuned for those videos and you want to not miss them, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for